It's March 2021. This month marks one year since the beginning of quarantine. I'm currently standing in front of the empty Falbrook High School. In this, short, in this short video, I'm going to be interviewing some students on just how quarantine has affected them. How has quarantine affected your social life? Oh man, it dropped. It dropped real bad, like a rock in water. Yeah, it's just, it really, uh, it just, nothing's been better with my social life. I haven't been talking to anybody outside of home. Uh, haven't gotten really familiar with a whole bunch of different people. Haven't even met anybody from high school yet. So I can't wait to get back to high school and meet more different people. It's kind of altered me as a person. When it first started, I mean, like, I thought it was like the best thing ever. At the time, eighth grade wasn't really the best. And I really needed a break and I first thought, wow, these, these two weeks are going to be amazing. I, I needed this, but then it ended up being a whole year. Ten months almost just by myself. It makes you think a lot. It makes you think a lot. And I, came, I became more wise in a way, like more aware of things around me and stuff. And it's kind of like probably the best and worst thing that has ever happened to me. How has quarantine affected your physical health? Um, well, at first, you know, it wasn't the best, but it also wasn't the worst. Then I started working out, like I said before, and, you know, I built some muscle, had uh, some vitamins for a change. Um, I don't know what to do about my diet and how I eat, but, yeah, it's, it's going better, a little bit better at least, from where it started. Yeah, that's probably one of the most best questions I could answer. I mean, once stuff started going downhill, I just stopped exercising completely. And I was eating food, and I was gaining weight. And then I got put on this medication called Lexapro. And I gained, I gained 40 pounds in a month. And that was just how much I gained in a month. It didn't stop. I got up to 220 pounds. And then um, just the beginning of December, I started exercising again, like four times a day every day and I'm at 180. This quarantine has left kids all around the world with scars, some of which will never be healed. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. Now that more and more people are being vaccinated, it seems that we will be back on campus very soon.